Alright, so welcome to another, uh, just chatting, I guess. Usually when I do MOC, it's just me talking about random topics. Hey, they announced a uh, Black Swan. It's a nihility character, five star. That's some booba, yes? They really make the character very turbo hot, yes? It's win nihility, right? She's win nihility character. Very cool. I just know that someone on the internet is gonna make an edit where she doesn't wear shoes. I'm just... Thing. Uh, aside from the horny Coomer character just here, uh, she's at least like 60 days away, right? She's not coming out anytime soon, right? Other than that, now here comes the important part. Quality of life. Oh, okay. Relic system optimization. When you break a 5-star relic, now you can choose to either turn it into experience or turn it into like the crafting material, right? Additionally, the discard relic function mentioned last of why would you delete the relic instead of converting them, though? Why? Who asked for this option? Some fucking nihility followers? Uh, I don't need anything. Don't recycle them. We already have the salvage, right? Now we can salvage them into experience or into relic remain, and some fuck is like, no, we need to be able to just delete them. I asked for that? Fuck you, Cole? Yeah, fuck you, I guess. Naturally, the crew also makes optimized shades on the filter. Oh yeah, better filter is fine. Express crew is currently planning a release. Relic set record recommendation function i swear nobody used this right but if you can click on a character you hit relic and you hit this button this funny button called recommended gear okay that's actually wait let me check main stat yeah no do not use this don't use this don't fucking use this i swear to god don't fucking use this yeah, no. What the fuck? Do not use the recommended gear button. Why are you giving me ice damage? Oh, wow. Lightning damage. Okay. Crit rate, speed, lightning attack. Yeah, okay. That's not too bad. Honestly. Yeah, okay. Honestly. 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 That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, that's not bad. Honestly, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, can you stop? I swear I have quantum damage. Do I have quantum damage? I do, right? What the hell? Okay, never mind. These are some weird-ass quantum pieces. All right, yeah. So they're gonna add, like, a recommended gear set. So you can see, like, recommended gear set for your character. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that's good. That's good quality of life. Next, we have... Uh... So this is the thing, right? Okay, if you've played Genshin, you probably know this, right? Every time a new fucking character comes out and you're a new player and you pull a new character and you realize you have to play through the entire fucking game in order to reach the fourth region in order to farm the boss material to level up your character, you know? Like, for example, Yai Miko in fucking Enkanomiya for no reason, right? Ain't nobody goes in there, right? So in Honkai Star Rail, they're gonna release a universal upgrade material for traces and light cone. So like a new player can level up traces and light cone of the stuff they recently pulled, no matter where they are in the story quest, which is pretty fun good i'd say right i'm assuming this is gonna be mainly on events i bet my ass this is gonna be in the battle pass right they're adding more calyxes and future character and light cone with new material to activate and just in light cone yeah yeah okay wait oh if you farm the calyxes you also get the material you get from defeating regular enemy so like i think i farm like every enemy on the map right i think everyone knows i made a fucking video on it for the longest time right yeah that's why i have like shit like this right i I thought the limit was 9999, but the limit is actually 99999. I'm not farming up there, so I kind of stopped. Like, if you guys remember, I leveled servo manually just by killing shit around the map. It's every three days is one level. I would not recommend people do that anymore, but uh, sanity wise, at least, if you really have a lot of time, you should do it. But if you don't have time, don't fucking do it at this point, right? I did it because I'm a fucking streamer, okay? I just farm stuff around the map when I talk about random shit with my chat so that's different okay orlay crossroad each throw place mission throw place continuance companion and certain adventure mission will be organized based on their timeline and location the presenter oh so like they're gonna give like a giant tree based on timeline of story quests and side quests so that lore keepers can be more lore keepery i think that's fine and that's good for lore stuff yeah that's nice after version 2.0 light code manifest store in the forgotten hall will have new batch of light code oh, okay so um this shop is gonna have more light cone. That's good. Yay, more free-to-play stuff. 
I have 2k? Okay, wolf walk time I bought, right? I full buy that. Oh, this light cone, this wolf walk time light cone, I full buy this. But like, if I recall correctly, and I think I have it recorded on stream, right? I almost make this from drops alone. I did not buy a single copy of this. It's only drops. This thing is almost max just from fucking weeklies. It's great. All right, time to do uh, 8, 9, 10, okay? Now then, uh, let's see the elements. Tingyun does this and that. And down here, it's um, lightning and fire. Do I want to try? I want to play Kafka Topus. I feel like my team has been the same for so long. I've just been running Ting Yun Hua Hua and 2 DPS and then Fu Xuan Lucha 2 DPS. I should probably build Hanya up. I think I can run like Fu Xuan Hanya or like Lucha Hanya. I think Hanya is pretty good build to be honest. I keep running double DPS team because I like breaking shield faster. <laughs> I am using the same character. Alright, do you want to see the health bar of my characters? If Tingyun ults uh, Jing Liu, I get Perma ult, right? Alright, you want me to manual? It's time for manual battle. Do I get ult here? I don't get ult here. I don't, right? No. Okay. Nah, I'm just gonna auto it. I'm just gonna fun button it. What do you think about Black Swan? That is just... That is just horny character. We'll see. So are they if, are they ever gonna make it so that uh, Ting Yun ult Jing Liu or his blade is permanently stuck there? It's Ting Yun pose? I guess, yeah. It is Ting Yun pose. Wait, that's a great reminder. It is basically just Ting Yun pose, right? It is. It's just Ting Yun. So that means she's going to die. <laughs> it is just uh, Ting Yun pose, true. All right, I stole a joke from my chat again. Thanks, guys. Oh, good joke. Yeah, so um, yeah, I, I just tweeted it. The breakneck pose joke. Oh, Kafka got kidnapped. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Fucking 45k. I wish Kafka kidnapped me. Probably not a good idea. I don't think that's how it works. Probably. Is the Sim Universe Nihility Lycon better than the 4-star one for Kafka? It does give you more energy, and Kafka can uh, do her job quite well with the 5-star, yeah. She will brainwash you? I mean, yeah, I'm, probably she doesn't even need to brainwash you. Hey, you're already doing everything she asked for. Probably. Why does the Nihility Archon get the hardest characters, you know? Like the Nihility Archon, you know? He gets like Kafka, he gets Black Swan, he gets... Um, did they announce the element of uh, Archeron yet? Or am I... Uh, I can run double physical with Ting Yun and Hua Hua for more old, sure. And then I'll run down here. I'll run two of that. That seems fine. And I'll run two of this, you know? Surely it's fine. It's just MOC anyway. We're just chilling. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Yeah, nah, I'd win, right? Is it finally time to spam that emote? Nah, I'd win. You use the funny button on MOC anyway? Honestly, it's pretty chill on MOC, you know? It's chill at this point. Our content was Swarm. Swarm was a lot of fun. I hope they do more shit like that. Even if Swarm, after you full clear everything, you don't really do it again, but it was fun. That was good content. Swarm? Swarm was actually good. I mean, I guess if you max the skill tree, you can run every element. But if you don't max the skill tree, you're kind of forced to play certain things. It was fun while it lasted. True. My Argenty just basic attack when we had skill point, by the way. Is Black Swan the only new character in the next patch? Black Swan isn't next patch, right? She's next next patch, right? Wait, am I dreaming? The character next patch is uh, Zui Yi and and Doctor Ratio, right? Yeah, Black Swan is patch 2.0, no? Oh, Rune Mei and Doctor Ratio, right? Next patch is Rune Mei and Doctor Ratio, yeah. Yeah, next patch is Rune Mei Doctor Ratio, right? Black Swan is like. 
Yeah, Black Swan is like 70 days away. Is this Argentine or Glara showcase? Clearly, Argentine did more damage there. I nerfed Glara damage on purpose, bro. I made her 2,000 defense. You know how Rune Mei, no, Ting Yun and Black Swan has the same pose? It would be really funny if both of them got their neck cracked. Even though it would make no sense, it would be really funny. It would be an ongoing community joke forever. Hey, can you imagine? They have the same character portrait, the same pose, and both of them just get snapped. It'd be funny if Himiko solo the main boss again then die. I would actually take it, you know? Like, if Himiko dies at another main boss, you know, at that point, I'll, I'll accept it. It happens. I'll take it. Himiko gone. Himiko gone. I like the Himiko gone emote. I don't know why. It's just so adorable and so sad at the same time. Who is Black Swan? It's the funny lady that appeared in the cutscene before. Let's go Ice, Lightning, Wind, Quantum. There you go. Nice and easy. Bro, my team building is so easy now. It's to support to DPS OM. Must be nice to have options. Oh, true. To sustain ready for MOC 15. I'm ready for MOC 15. In MOC 15, everyone has to run like a hyper carry team to one shot the enemy, otherwise you only have like two turns to kill them, right? I wonder how hard MOC 11-12 would be. I don't think they're gonna make MOC 11-12 like that fucking harder. Maybe like 10% harder at best, right? Wait, I don't have statistic on this. In Genshin, it's only like less than 10% or like 20% of the player base plays the Abyss. Do HSR player play MOC? I feel like MOC is a lot more accessible, right? It's just like three summons every two weeks, so you don't really have to do it. You look stupid. That's the fucking point. This model is legit the champion of looking both ways when crossing the street, okay? I never fail. I can guarantee I've never got hit by anything before in the road, maybe. I don't know. Okay, this is some anti-synergy. Because Fuchuan is absorbing all the damage, Lucha doesn't auto-heal my DPS. So they're just stunned. <laughs> Anti-synergy. Explode and explode. Could have used Hua Hua. I have Hua Hua on second half, I think. The blade just basic attack without E and he's ulting without E. How the fuck is it still 50k? What? What are you saying on the possible new character trailer? Archeron Galaxy Ranger? Hmm? Archeron isn't a ga- Archeron is a Galaxy Ranger? Like a superhero? I, like, no, I feel like the Galaxy Ranger thing- Okay, the Galaxy Ranger thing also goes into fucking Xenazone Zero, right? It, it's called what? Starlight something, right? Acheron, yeah, okay, my bad, bro. She's one of the Power Rangers? <laughs> Acheron is one of the Power Ranger, bro. You know, when I saw the Acheron trailer, the first thing that comes to mind is how does she walk through a door? Like, her blade is longer than her body. Like, does she always uh, walk through the door sideways? Isn't that kind of awkward? Sorry, I'm fucking cooking again. She breaks the door, I see. As Sephiroth? Okay. Life is an open field for you. Just walk anywhere. No clip on. What is a door? All right, let's see. What is a door? Google, tell me. A door, a hinge, sliding, or revolving barrier at the entrance of building, room, vehicle, or in the framework of a cupboard. Uh, do we only use Argentino when it has two charge? Two charge against bosses, one charge against trash mobs. You know, she can just turn the sword 90 degrees. It is kind of tedious, you know? I could take Archeron's sword any day. Like, in a fight or, like, swallowing it or something. Like, like you know how, uh... 
our um, sex alarm uh, has the uh, one of our consolation name is Swallowing Sword or something. Holy, what the fuck was that hit? My brain thought he did that attack twice. That was kind of... If he did that attack twice, it's kind of unfair. Holy, that's Gleave. Holy fuck. Wait, does he just spam that attack now or something? What the fuck? Does he spam that shit? When the Galaxy Ranger first form, Ravager Lord Zulo led a number of bandits and pirates to spread the destruction and ravage around the universe. Rather than to confront him directly, the Rangers used the swarm lack of intelligence to their advantage, herding them towards his fleet. The assassination of the Emanator of Destruction brought the Rangers' fame across the cosmos. Is that like lore? Galaxy Ranger? This is a group of superhero rangers walking around the universe of uh, Star Rail and helping people? Damn. You guys remember the Pokemon event? I can still access it? I swear to God, I thought she was gonna transform. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought she was gonna transform into a Power Ranger. Give me a character that's legit just an unhinged Power Ranger. It would be good. But like, look, I thought she was gonna transform when I first came here. Doing this fucking event. All right. Anyways, uh, that's enough for today's Just Chatting MOC. Honestly, Memory of Chaos content for my chat is just... We just talk. And then half the time, they question mark me. But hey, that's enough for today's uh, video, right? I will send this video to my editor. I will force him to upload video faster. Goodbye, YouTube chat.